You're listening to Trash Talk on WTBU, the beat of Boston University. Trash Talk is an entertainment radio show on Boston University's student-run station. The hosts use social media apps, including TikTok, to find content to discuss. But the possible TikTok ban could affect where they get their talking points from. And if TikTok were to be modified, we would not be able to use that and curate our show outlines as we have been doing. And since those show outlines have been successful, I'm not sure what that would mean for the future of our show. Trash Talk host Andrew DiBiazzo says people should use TikTok with caution, just like they should with Instagram and Facebook, instead of a widespread outlaw of the app. The government is treating it as a different issue or a more serious issue because it deals with a lot of younger people. But I also think that younger people should just treat this as any other political decision um, and just consider it for themselves. Lawmakers created a bill that would ban TikTok in America within six months due to national security concerns. Another Trash Talk host, Kenna LaFitt, says the government's paranoia stems from the app's Chinese-based parent company. The concern wouldn't be as big of an issue if it wasn't like a foreign government because Facebook and Instagram use a lot of the same like data privacy and like I don't know the algorithms and stuff are very similar to that of TikTok. So. CBS News says the Senate must vote on the TikTok bill before it gets passed to President Biden who said he would sign it. Reporting for BUTV News, I'm Sophia Falvo.